Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the full card breakdown and in detailed predictions for UFC Vegas 46, I believe. Um, okay, UFC Vegas 46, Cater vs. Chiquette, the full card breakdown predictions. Detailed predictions, starting with the early prelim opener of... This is not the best. This is not the best card in the world um, to come back four weeks from because it had Buckley, Abdul, Zach. It had awesome fights. Sal Capera, Adeshev, Clayson Rodriguez. It was awesome. Starting with the early prelim opener, Vanessa Demopoulos versus Sil Silvana Gomez Juarez. I think this is a no-brainer one. I think this is. I think this is a lock. And I'm gonna go for Vanessa Demopoulos here. Over Savannah Gomez Juarez, um, yeah, I th and I'll tell you why. Um, I think the I think Vanessa Demopoulos gets it. All people in topology are picking um, Juarez to win. I think that's more so because of her record. She's ten three, which is a pretty solid record, honestly. But I think this girl fought cans in her career, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what it didn't say here. Um, oh no, three no, which is a pretty good win. 2-0, uh, Vanessa Mello, not really that great of a win, but, again, it's still a good win, Poliana Patello, which, okay, it's not bad, but Patello, Poliana Patello loses her fights due to cardio, um, and she doesn't have the best cardio, and she beat, and she actually beat, um, Savannah Gomez Juarez in the fourth round, Potello, and she retired there too. But beat a one and three opponent, lost to Ariane Lipsky, which isn't bad. Recently, just lost to Lupina Godinez. I think I think this is I think I don't even know what the hell. I think Vanessa Blomopoulos is pretty good. She's thirty three years old, which isn't that great. She's coming off a loss to JJ Aldrich, but JJ Aldrich is a pretty Good person in that division. Um, she is pretty good and pretty capable of of her uh, skills. Uh, so and she took that one on short notice. So don't blame her there, and made it competitive as well. Um, lost to Lapita Godina. Uh, lost to Lapita Godinez. And lost to Corey McKenna. Beat Sam Hughes. Sam Hughes not the greatest of wins, but like. Corey McKenna is pretty good. Just beat Kay Hansen, I think, like two years ago now. Um, and then she's fighting someone on the London card. But she's a pretty good fighter. She went to a draw with. Not a draw. Um, she went to a majority decision with Lapita Godinez. I made it pretty close there and challenging for Godinez. And Godinez was a savage and still is. But, like. <clears throat> come on. And Godinez absolutely destroyed. Silvana Gomez Juarez are easily in the first round, I think. I'm gonna stick on that, maybe in second, but first round. She destroyed her, anyways. And I'm gonna base that off on Demopolis getting an early finish here. Um, does she have any punches? I'll go for <clears throat> lots of Caitlin Shikagian earlier in her career, but come on. She's also fighting this card, Shikagian. Gonna go for a first round. <clears throat> A second round armbar win for Vanessa Demopoulos. I'm pretty sure she can get this one done. Uh, second or first? I'll go second round submission for Vanessa Demopoulos. I think she can get an armbar. Savannah so Gomez Juarez isn't really that great. Demopoulos gets it done. Um, four minutes already. But yeah, moving on up the card. Brian Kelleher versus Saida Kobe Kakaran. Uh, how do you say that name? Saeed Yakub. I see, I know that. Kakramanov. Kakramanov. Saeed Yakub. Kakramanov. Um, I'll go for him winning this one over Brian Kelleher. Um, Kelleher's good, man. He is good. But, like, how much left it? He has, like, he's like a cowboy of the division. Like he said before, he's like a cowboy of the division, but more of him, like a Win lose win lose thing like coming off one over Domingo Pilarte lost Ricky Simone which isn't that great uh, which is pretty which is I I was about to say 
that's that's a good loss to have. I was gonna say that's not really that great, but that's Ricky Simone's savage in that division. I don't know why I said that, but so that's a good loss to have. Big Ray Rodriguez, um, lost to Cody Stamen. Like I think Keller is just like up down up down up down type of guy. Um, Saeed Yakub, Kak Ram, uh, I've seen his fights. Got fly need by part, uh, Pipe Vargas. Uh, lost with Umar, Umar Nurmagomedov uh, on PFL. We took that one on short notice. You can't blame him. And recently looking really good against Trevin Jones. Really look good in that one. Showed good cardio to get a guillotine uh, over Trevin Jones, which was, which was a guy that was coming off one over Mario Bautista then. And beat Timur Valley, if you count it. Um, but that got overturned, so you probably kind of can't count that one. Um, but 26 years old, I think this guy gets it done. Saeed Yakub, Kak Ramanov, 92 also. I think he'll get it done in a in a war. I'll say a war decision. Brian Kelleher. I'll say Rak- Kak Ramanov takes the early rounds, chopping the legs of Kelleher. Using some wrestling early rounds as well. I'll say Kelleher maybe bounce backs. No, I'll go for a 30-27 straight up decision for Kak Ramanov. In a good war, but he wins every round. Like it's like, oh Kelleher made it a scrap, but Kak Ramanov come on uh Edged them each and every round, but it was also a really good fight. Kakmanov, Kakramanov gets it done. Moving on up the card, Dakota Bush versus Fyacheslav Borshev. Oh, I'm gonna go for Borshev over Bush. I think he wins it, and I was picking him the whole time. But Bush is good, and I watched that fight with Austin Hubbard earlier, I think, earlier today, yeah, today, yeah, today, earlier today, this morning, I watched that fight back versus uh, Austin Hubbard, man, he's actually good, um, let's start with Dakota Bush, um, he's pretty good, man, if you think about it, lost to Austin Hubbard, but at the same time, that's not a good loss to have in Austin Hubbard. Austin Hubbard. If that was full camp for Bush, he wins. Hubbard's so garbage, though. I don't even like him. Actually, trash completely. Um, I don't like Hubbard. Because he will never be anything. Win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. Like, come on. Um, but you got to read, really look good in that fight with the grappling. Really look at early, but it's just the cardio didn't show up in that fight. And I think I'm going to trust Borshev to go to the body. And I'm going to say a KO for Borshev. I'm going to go for a KO for Borshev. I like this guy. Beat, uh, beat Chris Duncan, which really hurt me from Duncan. But also, good for him. Good for Borshev to knock him out. Steal all that hype. Get into the UFC and fight Bush. And I'll call for it. I'll call um, a body shot. Body shot left hook combo KO for uh, the Fiasheslav Borshev. In the second round, I think he'll get it done. Um, and I think I think Bush will. I think he'll be pushed to the punch and knock him out cold with brutal ground and pound shots. I like this Borshev guy. He's 30 years old, which annoys me. But Slava Claus, Fiasheslav Borshev gets it done. I like this kid. And yeah. He's not even a kid. Um, 30 years old. That's the only thing that annoys me. He's kind of... He, that's pretty good. That's decent. But, like, Cyril Gunn is already at the title, and he's 30. And this is Borshev's debut. I wish he was, like, 27, turning 28. I wish that would have helped, but whatever. I, I like this Borshev guy. I think he knocks out Dakota Bush in the first... In the second round, I think. Beginning second round. Moving on up the card. To TJ Brown versus Gabriel Benitez. I'm going to go with Gabriel Benitez, man. TJ Brown is not that good. And people need to recognize that. He's not that great. You know? I know he's good for beating Kai Kamaka. But seriously, he's not that good. Um, I picked Shav. I watched... I, uh... I didn't watch anything. I um 
I picked Chavez to beat him. Danny Chavez. Danny Chavez. I picked him to beat TJ Brown because Brown's not good. All right. He didn't win his last fight. He, I rewatched at first when I watched Kakamaka TJ Brown uh, live. I was like, that's such a brutal robbery. I rewatched it. It was closer than I thought, but I still thought it was a bad decision. I thought Kakamaka got brutally robbed. I think he got cut after that, didn't he? He won recently in Bellator against uh, this guy, uh, John DeJesus. But um, Chavez, he fought Chavez himself after. But he's not that good. You know, that decision saved him for being in the UFC. Lost to Jordan Griffin, who is not here anymore. Lost to Danny Chavez. Got his legs chopped up. And I think Benitez will get a first-round TKO here really easily. Billy Corintillo is a savage. He's a savage, Billy Corintillo. Went to a, a war to, with Shane Burgos. Lost, but still made it an awesome fight. Fight uh, Last year, 2021, fight of the year candidates. Uh, it wasn't my top five, but not the best. I think Chandler Gaethje was. But, um, Justin James beat him round one, you know? Um... Who would win between TJ Brown and Justin James? Probably TJ Brown there, because James has no way. James is, but probably James KOs him early, but probably not. He couldn't finish Rosa, but Rosa is a savage himself. Um, um, Charles Rosa. Omar Morales lost to him. Sadiq Yusuf got caught. Like, he's losing to good guys. Omar Morales lost to, recently just lost to, What's his name? Jonathan Pierce. But, oh, well. Went to a competitive decision with Gigi Chikedzi. Sadiq Yusuf in that top 10 fighting Alex Luceris now. Corintillo just went to a war of Burgos. Gonna go for a first round TKO for T. I almost jinxed it. I almost jinxed it. I almost said TJ Brown. Don't you dare. Gabriel Benitez first round TKO. I think he still has it in the tank. And if TJ Brown wins this impressively, Fine, I'm on, I'm on the bandwagon, but well, probably won't be because of his losses before. But I'll respect him if he wins this. I'll say, but I think Gabriel Benitez, Benitez, I think Gabriel Benitez gets this one done. Moving on up the card, Ramiz Brahimaj versus Ramiz Brahimaj versus Court McGee. I'm gonna go for Ramiz Brahimaj. I think he's really good, Ramiz Brahimaj. I, he's a beast, man. He's actually has heart. Coming back after that ear injury against Max Griffin, gruesome ear injury. Like, ugh. like, come on, beat Sasha Pol- uh beat Sha. What? How do you say this guy's name? Sasha Politnikov. Like, I know how to say it, but like sometimes I just like, I'm, I'm, how do you say this guy's name? Beat Sasha Politnikov in his last fight. Beat him by, by Renee choke. I don't think Court McGee has it anymore, honestly. He's coming off one over Claudio Silva, but how much do you really rate that win at this point? You know, I know Claudio Silva is that guy that beat Leon Edwards, even though I thought Edwards got robbed kind of there. Come on. You know, I'll grapple him. And I don't see... If you want to beat Ramiz Brahimaj, I think you have to, like... Outstrike him on the feet and outclass him and just out pressure him. And I think McGee can do that, but why not with the striking? I think he has to out grapple Brahimaj. And I think Brahimaj will have good enough takedown defense. Um, to do that, lost to Condit, got his nose, I think, shattered in that fight, and he got dominated by Condit. Brady there as well. Did okay against Brady, but. I think Brady's secretly kind of bad. Like, I think he's good, but I think he's secretly kind of bad. Brady. I'm sorry, but yeah. But Lima, Strickland, I, I, like, <clears throat> it's like one of these. Like, he goes like a win, lose, lose, win, lose, 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 win. Like, you see? Like, win, lose, lose, win, lose, 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 win. And I think he'll lose here to Brian Maj. I think Brian Maj is pretty good. I'm gonna call it like a I'm but I'm gonna go for Brahimaj. Like Max Griffin's not a bad like Max Griffin just went on to beat Con- Condit himself. And I think he's really good. Um Max Griffin's really good. Um 
and that's not a bad loss. Max Griffin's looking good lately. Uh, maybe you should get a ranked opponent. Maybe Griffin versus D Rod. I don't even know yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a 3027 outclassing from Brahimaj. I can't. I don't mind a standing TKO like later in the fight, or maybe earlier in the fight, like first round TKO. But I think Brahimaj. I think McGee. I think McGee's tough. You know, he would if he if he wasn't tough, he would have got TKO'd by Condit. And he was looking okay against Condit before getting dropped in that first. But um, which kind of changed the whole fight. But um, I think Brahimaj will get a thirty twenty seven, just outclassing Cor McGee in, in the. I think he'll take down McGee early, but then in the later rounds will strike him. I think McGee will be kind of gassed. Or I think Brahimaj will be slowing down, but I think he'll win a thirty twenty seven decision. Thirty twenty seven, twenty nine, twenty eight. I think 30-27. Decision for Brahim Maj. I think he's good. Moving on up the card. Jamie Pickett versus Joseph Holmes. If this fight was supposed to be Kyle Borello versus Jamie Pickett, which I kind of enjoyed more because Borello, he, he looks like Paul Costa. Hey. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, I, but this fight is happening now. I think Joseph Holmes gets a first round TKO. I think he's very good, Joseph Holmes. I watched this fight. Um, in his last one against what's his name? Uh, Jonathan Patti. A can that was six and five got a win. Was supposed to didn't even get signed. That okay? Listen up. He didn't even get signed when he fought Barnes, but like. So he had a fight on Fury FC, a different whole organization. Not not different organization, but like you know what I mean. Different like like place altogether. Beat this can, Jonathan Patti, and now he's in sign on short notice. I believe he'll beat Jamie Pickett. I don't kind of like Jamie Pickett. He's good, but like he's so sus, and and he has a lot of holes in the striking department, like against Jordan Wright. Yeah, now it's just I don't trust him to win. Uh, he also beat Jonathan Patti. Um, beat Jonathan Patti. But like Jordan Wright, I'm looking at that one back, and he kind of quit against Wright. He got hurt really badly with the knees and the elbows. But come on, who goes like that's like Phil Hawes, Chris Curtis style, man. Like come on, that was worse, and that was more understandable. It wasn't like a chin issue there for Pickett, but like. Because he took shots off uh, top on Chukwi and Punelli Soriano for three rounds. Did good against Soriano in that fight, actually. And, yeah. And that last one against Loriano uh, Staropoli. Um, you know, I thought he won the fight slightly, but he arguably could have lost that fight to Staropoli. I don't know. Whatever. I, 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 he arguably could have lost. I thought he won it barely, but like, sus, man. I'm going for a first round TKO for Holmes, similar to the right style, uh, the right KO, knees, punches, standing TKO to him to, uh, what's his name falling? Jamie Pickett against the cage, big shots to over Holmes wins. He's a savage, and I like Holmes. Moving on up the card to the main card. Joe Anderson Brito versus Bill Algio. I'm gonna go for Joe Anderson Brito here, man. I think he's good. I think he's very, very talented. How old is he? 26, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Joe Anderson Brito. A lot of prospects on this card, honestly. I'm gonna go for Joe Anderson Brito here. I like Bill Algio, but I think Anderson. I think uh, Joe Anderson Brito is just a step ahead. Bill Algio shows a lot of holes, man, in his game. Where it's like he's good, but there's just it's like he's good in like like this place, but like kind of like like he ha he's really good, but that it's like like it's like a oh he's all good here, but that one place he's not like and I think that's where the place where Johnson Brito is very good at, and I think he's good, man. He trains at Algio MMA. Who else trains? Oh, that's just his own gym. Oh, pretty cool from Bill Algio. But he's, but Algio's, like, 
He arguably could have won against Ricardo Ramos. But it's Ramos. He just lost to Tugugov. Yeah, it kind of got class there. Other than that spinning elbow, Ramos hasn't been looking that great lately. You know? Um, could have won that fight, though, but very close. Beats by Carlisle, which is kind of aging well. Because Carlisle just won on Bellator in a comeback. And he's looking pretty good lately, Carlisle. And Ricardo, Ra uh, Ricardo uh, Lamas. Um, if you're going to want to be something... Please beat Lamas at this point. I know he took that on short notice and looked pretty good against Lamas, in all honesty. Mm, but come on, really? I'm going to go for Jonathan Brito. I think he's good. Um, Kind of got signed. Weird one against uh, the contender, contender Series there. Uh, it was a pretty weird one there, honestly. Um... But I think they just thought his fights, and he worked really hard to get where he is. So they're like, bring him in. He's 26 anyways. And yeah, I think this guy's really good. And I think he'll go out there and beat Bill Algio in a 30-27 in a unanimous decision. In a, in like a awesome fight, but boring fight at the same time. But more fun. But I don't care. I think Brito just outclasses him for three rounds. Grappling, striking. I think he gets it done over Bill Algio and proves he's the better fighter. Moving on up the card, Chase Sherman versus Jake Collier. I'm going to go with Jake Collier here. I'm actually going to go for Jake Collier here, getting this one done. I like Chase Sherman. No, not really, though. Not really. The Vanilla Gorilla. Good job, like, who, like, he kind of let me down twice, like, I picked, I thought he was going to beat Parker Porter, I, I don't even know who I picked there, I think I picked, I don't even know, who did I pick there, who did I pick there, actually, I think I picked Parker, or Parker. no, I picked Chase Sherman, let me down against Parker Porter, man, really, really, man, like, Really? Like, I don't know what to say, but really, let me down against Parker Porter. Didn't look that great there. It was an awesome fight between him and Porter, a little bit like a uh, high paced fight. And he lost to Parker Porter, um, which isn't a bad loss now, think, now looking at it. Lost to Andre Arlovsky, but if you want to be anything, make it at least close against Arlovsky. I know that's not. I know that's pretty aging well. Cause Arlovsky's looking awesome lately. I think he just beat Carlos Felipe. Like he's looking good. Beat Tanner Bosa for Lens. Not. Not. He lost to Tom Aspinall, but Aspinall is a beast. He is a beast for submitting him as well. But also, he, he took Arlovsky took that fight on short notice, and he was supposed to fight Pork Reporter on that card, and then they rebooked it for this one and lost there. But come on, man. Beat E.K. E. K. Valenueva, but how good really is that win anymore? E.K. Valenueva. I'm going to go for Jake Collier. <clears throat> but, yeah. I think Jake Collier can actually win this one. And I think he will. In, like, like that Parker Porter's fashion fight in a good war. But I think Chase Sherman's just losing all these fights. And I think if he loses this one, he's definitely going to get cut. Like, Collier could have beaten Felipe. He beat Volante. He could have beaten Felipe, honestly, too. When he got when he lost to Tom Aspinall, I was like, ah, oh, this guy is a bum. Just an idiot. Just get out of here. But when he fought Volante, I was like, okay, okay. And then he won when he fought Felipe, I picked Felipe there. But, like, he arguably could have won against Felipe, you know? I think he'll win against Shea Sherman. And I think he'll win it. I get Shea Sherman. By a split decision, 29-28, war, fight of the night, awesome fight. And I think he wins it and gets the, gets the job done. Going to go for him here. Um, but I think Collier is really good. I look at his topology photo. What is wrong with you, man? Like, he used to be a middleweight to a light heavyweight. No, he, did, he never was a light heavyweight. Like, who did, where did he fight here? Uh, or where? Light heavyweight, yeah. Beat uh, Marcel uh, Fort Fortuna. 
Marcel Fortuna, Devin Clark, he lost to, beat Alberto uh, Uda, uh, Ricardo Abreu, uh, Vitor Miranda, but, um, yeah, I think he wins it, oh, uh, who's texting me on Discord, who is texting me on Discord, who is texting me on Discord, um, no one, okay, um, I think he gets it done. 29-28. Split decision war. Moving on up the card. Brandon Royval versus... Oh, get out of here, man. No, I don't care about this. No, I don't care. Why are you making this main one? Go away. Brandon Royval versus Rogerio Bonturin. Oh, <laughs> don't know who to pick here. I went back and forth, and I... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go with Rogerio Barterin. I think I'm gonna try... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna trust him. But it's risky! Because his stand-up's kind of... Sus. And kind of bad in a way, but... Oh, yeah, oh. I'm going for Barterin. I don't care. If I'm wrong... There's an excuse, but there kind of isn't. But I'm gonna stick Bonturin. I'm gonna go for Rogerio Bonturin here. It's risky though. It is because Roy Val is tricky. But I think we've seen enough of Roy Val's ground game, and we've seen enough of Bonturin's ground game. And I think you can judge which one is a little bit more sounded. You know, um, Bonturin beat Matt Chanel in his last fight. But look good against Matt Schnell. Uh, uh, he actually looked good in that fight. I know he uh, missed weight by a pound and it really pisses me off. But I think he wins it. You know, I think he wins it. Um, and I think he looked good in that fight. And like, and kind of rocked Matt Schnell at moments in the third round of that fight. Looked really good. I uh, lost Kakara France, and I know you're going to say, oh, Roy Bell beat Kakara France, but Bonturin lost to Kakara France, but it's not the same, man. He was out grappling Kakara France, honestly. He was looking good, dominated him. Um, took his back, but on the feet, Kakara France smacked him up, and that's how he got the win. I know Ray Borg had a good takedown defense, so Kakara Ray Borg kind of smacked him up on the feet. Beat Halle and Paiva. I know that was a cut, but still was looking okay. Magomed, uh, Bibulatov, Bibulatov, that was also a really good one, um, look good with the ground game in that fight, and beat Gustavo Gabriel in the contender series, and look good there, and I think he's really good, man, I think Rodrigo Bonturin is really good, and Roy Val hasn't been looking great lately, man, hasn't been looking late, uh, looking late, looking great lately, um, lost to, Hala, uh, lost to Alejandro Pantoa, Which is not bad, but he was looking okay in that fight, but still, Moreno we lost to, also uh, lost to Brandon Moreno, beat Kakara France, but this fight interests me, because people are like, oh, Roy Val cracked him with the spinning elbow, and got guillotine when Kakara France was hurt, but also, also, He got cracked really badly in that fight, and I think this is going to be a cause um, of him getting cracked. Um, Bait Tim Elliott by submission, which is really good, but I'm going to go for Bonturin cracking Roy Val really badly early and getting a first into, I think he'll drop Roy Val really badly, like Walker Span-esque when Roy Val leaves his chin open really badly, put him on his back. Um. Uh, Put him on his uh, dog on all fours, like doggy position. Go for the back, get the rear naked choke, and that will be it. Bonturin gets a right hand knockdown to Royval in doggy position on all fours, and Royval stinks in the rear naked choke, bites the hooks, then gets it. Bonturin gets it done. Moving on up the card to the Coleman event. Um, 
Caitlyn Chukagian versus Jennifer Maya 2. The rematch. I'm going to go for Caitlyn Chukagian over Jennifer Maya. I think she's good, man. Caitlyn Chukagian. I think she's really good. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to go for Caitlyn Chukagian over Jennifer Maya. I think she's better. And I think she's just better, man. Um, I think she is better. And Jennifer, I, and, and I think she's just really good, Caitlyn Chukagian, overall. I thought she she dominated both girls in Viviani Ararujo and uh, Cynthia Calvillo. Lost to Jillian Robertson in escape time in overtime. Which, I don't even know what that means. Mission Underground. Uh, she lost that one, but that doesn't really mean anything. And Jillian Robertson doesn't really mean anything, but Robertson's really slick here to do too. That's all she's kind of about. Lost to Jessica Andrade, like, and, um, but that's not bad. Dominated Antonina, uh, Antonina Shevchenko. Um, I don't think she's just good, man. She dominated Jennifer Meyer back then before at UFC 244. Um, Masvidal versus Diaz. This was a really good card. <laughs> this was a really good card, actually. But, um... I think she can go out there and win against Jennifer Maya. I haven't been too impressed with Maya, and she can really good at uh, at her striking, at her reach as well. I think that's going to be a factor. Um, and yeah, she looked good against Arujo, looked good against Calvillo, and stayed really active after the Andrade fight. Really, on really active, really active, twice in twenty twenty one. Or, or, sorry, um, jeez, she fought four times in 2020, really impressive, Shevchenko, Shevchenko's sister, Andrade, Calvillo, and then once last year, but come on, and she fought this thing, escape time, overtime thing, against Julian Robertson, I, that really doesn't mean anything, though, I don't know what it means in grappling points, but she's really active, I think she'll go out there and get, a win, get the win and get her title shot again against Shevchenko, but also, Tyler Santos deserves. Tyler Santos actually kind of deserves a title shot, in a way. I think they should do Taylor Santos versus Jessica Andrade. I don't know why they're not making that. But um, <clears throat> I think she'll win against Jennifer Maya. I'll say some more things. I said uh, stuff about Shikagian. Ah, uh, she didn't look that great against I. She actually was losing the first round. Won the last two, thank God. But come on, man. You should be dominating just Jessica I at this point in your career. Beat Joanne Calderwood, or Joanne Wood now. And yeah, lo- beat, did okay against Shoshenko. Did the best anyone did against Shoshenko in the flyweight uh, division. Um, Won a round against Shoshenko and looked tough, people say. And yeah, and that Jessica I fight like make it make it domination over Jessica I at this point. Jessica I, I feel like a man in Fiora is gonna absolutely obliterate Jessica I badly. And for you, uh, for Jennifer Mai to make it close, come on, I'm gonna go for Chikagian here. Thirty twenty seven domination over the three rounds, like the first fight gets the win, and I think she gets it done. Moving on up the card. Calvin Cater versus Giga Chikedzi in the main event. I'm gonna go with Giga Chikedzi. I'm going with Giga Chikedzi, man. Over Calvin Cater. Calvin Cater has a good chance, man. He does have a very good chance of winning this fight. But I I think Giga gets him with the kicks, man. I think Giga kicks the living hell out of him. I'm going for Giga Chikedzi. I think he's really good. Shocked me in that Barbosa fight. Really, really shocked me in that Barbosa fight. I made a video, like a slow motion of him and Barbosa. And I think he's very good, man. He was outdoing Barbosa. That was really good from him. You know, I picked. Bar- I was a guy that picked Barbosa to win that fight. <sighs> like, come on, man. And almost kind of submitted Barbosa with the dart choke. I like Giga He's 33, so if he loses this one... This is kind of his last, first to last run, because he lost to Austin Springer. 
way back in the back in 2018, of course, where he has massively improved since then. <clears throat> but man, from freaking going to split decisions with Brandon Davis and Jamal Emmers to easily beating Cub Swanson and Edson Barbosa, that's impressive to me. I'm going to go for uh, Giga Chikadze. I think he'll win this fight 49-46. Unanimous decision. Actually, uh, yes, 49-46. I was maybe thinking last two rounds for Cater, but I'm going to go for four, first four rounds for Giga Chikadze. I think Calvin Cater is too tough. Um, But he could get TKO'd, honestly, here. But I'm going to go for a uh, decision for Giga Chikadze. Just out... Just chopping his, chopping at uh, Cater's legs, chopping at Cater's legs for the first two rounds at least. In the third round, it'll get closer, but Giga Chikedzi still gets it. Fourth round um, gets closer, but Chikedzi still landing good uh, kicks to the body and legs. And the fifth round, I think Cater will like knock down Giga Chikedzi after Chikedzi comes forward more. Uh, win the round, not enough for a 10-8 or anything, but wins the round from there. And he'll come be kind of even after that, but Cater had the knockdown. He wins the round. 49-46 decision win for Giga, uh, for Giga Chikedzi. And yeah, people are like, can Cater wrestle? No, he can't. He can't wrestle. I, I know he has a chance of wrestling, but like, he ha- he has nothing. Even if he takes down Giga Chikedzi early, or maybe even tries to get that, like, in his head, in his head, and kind of messing him up. I st- what is he going to do on top? Get an arm triangle on Chikedzi, imagine, though. But, yeah, I think Chikedzi outkicks him. I don't think he'll outbox Cater, but I think he'll just outdo him for the first four rounds. 49-46 decision to win for Giga Ch- for pff, What am I saying? Giga Chikedzi, I think he wins it. I think he's very good, man. And after this, I think he deserves his title shot, like Chukagian. I think both do. Um, but yeah. Um, and Cater's not old, man. He, uh, Cater is old, too. Kid, you say Chikedzi's old, 33. 33 also for Cater, and this is a whole year off after that damaging beatdown against Max Holloway. You know? And that's not really aging well anymore. Because Holloway destroyed him. Yair made it kind of close now. So it's not really aging well. And I think Volkanovski would beat him. I think Volkanovski probably KOs Holloway. <laughs> but yeah. Chikedzi. 49-46 decision. Let's go. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the video. This is the end of the video. Peace out, guys. Woo! Peace.